A Peaky Blinders movie is on its way, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. But for now, let's talk about a dark theory that sets up a huge twist. The unexpected end to season 6 set us up for a bigger twist. The whole show might be an illusion, and the last episode of season 6, there was a surprise ending that changed the direction of Tommy's story. Some people think that the ending could hint at something even more shocking happening in the upcoming Peaky Blinders movie. There's a theory that's been around for a while that suggests that everything that happens in the Peaky Blinders series is just a fantasy in Tommy's mind as he's dying in World War One. The new twist at the end of Season 6, Episode 6, could point to a similar idea, but with Tommy dying from his illness instead of the war. If this theory is true, it would mean that everything that happens after Ruby's vision, including Tommy's decision to save the Doctor, is all just a figment of his imagination. This theory would mean that the happy ending in the Peaky Blinders movie doesn't actually happen and is just Tommy's dying wish to defeat the bad guy and make everything right. While this theory is logical, it would also create some problems for any future Peaky Blinders spin-offs, especially because of the unlikely survival possibilities. The show often included supernatural elements in the story of the Shelby family. The characters, especially Tommy, believed in curses and the supernatural. Other Shelby members also showed superstitions, like Aunt Polly seances and dream interpretations. In the fifth season, Tommy was preoccupied with the dream of a black cat, which he believed meant a traitor was among them. But in the sixth season, the supernatural elements became more prominent as Tommy sought help from Esme Shelby Lee to understand Ruby's visions. Throughout the series, Tommy's visions of Grace, which he saw frequently, have been an important part of his story. But in the last season, not only did Tommy see Ruby, but he also interacted with her in a dreamlike state. But in the last episode, it seemed like it was real. So doesn't that change the whole trajectory of the show? It sure does change the trajectory of the show. The way Tommy's illness was resolved in Peaky Blinders Season 6 seemed too easy and out of character for him. Some people might have thought that Gina would be the villain in the show instead of Mosley, but the show had established Mosley as a strong opponent for Tommy, making it possible for him to have planned for Tommy's impending fate. But Tommy's symptoms got worse and worse throughout Season 5 and 6, and they didn't explain why. The solution was too simple and seemed like a dream rather than a reality. In the finale of Season 6, Tommy saw Ruby and hugged her, and she explained everything that had happened. But since Ruby was dead already, the show never established that Tommy had visions of her. The way his realization happened easily and neatly seemed more like a fantasy or a dream, which is unusual for the Peaky Blinders plot. All these supernatural interferences suggest another thing. The ultimate villain might not be defeated. These small inconsistencies in the show could be explained by the idea that Tommy is not actually cured of his illness, and is just imagining how he would defeat Oswald Mosley in his final moments before he dies. The Peaky Blinders movie could offer a satisfying ending to Tommy's final fight against one of his greatest enemies. Not just just that it could even set up future spin-offs that would be part of Tommy's imagination. The explanation might be more likely than the idea that Ruby's vision proves the existence of ghosts in the show, which was never hinted at before. I know this explanation could be disappointing for fans because it would mean that Tommy doesn't actually defeat Mosley. Besides that, it would also mean that any future spin-offs would only exist in Tommy's imagination, which would be a different realm from the rest of the series. It's honestly a bummer to even think that this show is nothing but a dream, but why shouldn't Peaky Blinders follow this theory? It's not new for a main character to be dead throughout a story. Some movies have even made it famous because of that surprising twist, but it makes sense that Peaky Blinders could be just in Tommy's mind because of Ruby's vision. And also, it would be too easy and a cheap way to explain everything that happened
end in six seasons. Besides that, it wouldn't make sense for all the spin-offs to just be in Tommy's mind. It would be more fitting for the show, with its many references to the supernatural, to finally make ghosts a real thing in the show. This would make it less likely that everything is just in Tommy's mind, and would make the spin-offs make more sense. But that isn't the only thing that makes little sense in the show. I've got a bunch of questions that need to be answered. Like, what did Tommy whisper to do? Tommy Shelby held a dinner with his family to say goodbye without telling him about his impending death. He went around the table telling his family members what he wanted them to do and who he wanted them to take care of. The most important goodbye was to his illegitimate son, Duke, a lonely traveler turned Peaky Blinder with the signature haircut. Tommy whispered something in Duke's ear before he turned his back on his family for what he thought was forever, but what was never revealed, he said. Some fans also suggested that the first couple of words Tommy said to Duke were, I want you, and then it was inaudible, leaving the exact words he said to Duke open for interpretation. And while we're on Finn and Duke, are we going to get a rivalry between the two? To test Finn's loyalty to the Shelby clan, Duke, Tommy's half-brother, tasked him with shooting Billy dead with no explanation. Finn insisted on pulling the trigger on Duke, but thanks to the advice from Uncle Charlie to empty the first two chambers, Duke survived and shot Billy dead himself. After the incident, Duke told Finn, by the order of the Peaky Blinders, that he was no longer a Shelby, leading Finn to swear to take revenge. So are we going to get a Duke Finn rivalry? We're hoping the movie will answer this question. But I've got a more important question right now. Is Arthur Shelby really dead? When Arthur found out about Tommy's fake illness, he was very upset and promised to join Tommy when he passes. However, he wasn't present at Tommy's farewell lunch with his estranged wife Linda saying he went fishing. She read a letter on his behalf which said, where you're going Tommy, there will I be. Soon. Love Arthur. Arthur. This raises the question of whether Arthur was just avoiding saying goodbye or if something more sinister was going on. Given that he believed Tommy was going to die and he had promised to join him, it's worrying. Fans hope that Arthur will be alive when the Peaky Blinders movie comes out. But Arthur's absence and Linda's cryptic letter about him joining Tommy soon and that he was bleeding earlier raise a concern about his well-being. But before we talk about Shelby dying, are they going to fight their arch nemesis, aka Oswald Mosley? The Peaky Blinders movie could see the final showdown between Tommy and his nemesis, Mosley. Not only will Tommy want to stop the spread of fascism, but he'll also be angry at Mosley for tricking him into believing he was dying from a fake illness. In real history, Mosley lived until 1980, and his wife Diana Mitford lived until 2003. So Mosley may not die if the creator, Stephen Knight, stays true to history. Anyway, do you think the whole show is just a vision? See you in the next one!